Hey, it's Nathan with Crazy Eye Marketing, and in this video, I want to show you how you can create standalone pages within your ClickFunnels 2.0 account. And this can be great for your legal pages, like your privacy policy and terms and conditions, or any other just standalone pages that you may want to create. So let's go ahead and get into it. First, we want to go to Sites right here, and then we can come to Pages as well. And then we want to go ahead and create a brand new page. And you can go ahead and select one of the templates that already exists. Like you might have already developed pages in your funnels or opt-in pages or anything like that that might be unique to you. And that could work for your standalone pages. But in this particular case, I'm going to go ahead and start from, bl from blank right here. And I'm going to call this my standalone page template. And the page URL is fine and the style is also fine. I want to use my default style. And I don't want to index this in search engines because this is basically a template file. I'm going to go ahead and hit create page then. And then I want to go ahead and design my template. So this is going to be like the backbone for my standalone pages. So a couple things you probably want to go ahead and do is add one of your universal assets. So like your header. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that in there real quick. And then we can go ahead and add another section a full page and one column. And I'm going to go ahead and add a headline. And then I'm also going to add a paragraph as well. And then I'm going to add another section here. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my universal footer as well. So we'll go ahead and put that in there. So there's my universal footer. And I might want to clean up some of this white space just to make it standard and sync up with how I like things looking. So there we go. I have my template created and I'm just going to go ahead and save that. And then I'm going to back out of here. So now I have my standalone page template and I can use this to create my standalone pages. So that way they all look the same and I don't have to add my header or my footer and stuff each time. So now I'm going to go ahead and just duplicate this particular page. And we'll go ahead and proceed. And then I'm going to go ahead and open this thing up. And I'm going to come over here to the left hand side and hit edit page. And I'm going to go ahead and call this privacy policy. And then I could go ahead and change all of my SEO data right here. So I can say page title is privacy policy, page description. You know, I could talk about it being a privacy policy. And then my URL right here. We can go ahead and change that to privacy policy as well. And then if I want to index it in search engines or not, is you know up to you. Sharing image and leave everything else the same. Go ahead and update the page. And now I'd go ahead and change this to pri privacy policy. And then I could go ahead and copy and paste a privacy policy in here. And or I'm going to add another element and I'm going to search for HTML and add a custom HTML element. And then I'll open that up and open it in the code editor. And then I have some HTML here that I'm going to paste right here. And let's delete this out of there. Now, of course, I'm not a lawyer. And so do your own research when it comes to creating privacy policies and terms and conditions and all that stuff. But this is good enough for me. So I'm going to go ahead and close that out. And I'm going to delete this as well. We'll go ahead and save it. And I can preview it as well to make sure it looks good. And OK, that looks fine. And now what I would want to do is go ahead and add these links to my universal footers. So let's come back in here. And since I did use a universal footer, I can just do it right here on my privacy policy page. So I'll go ahead and edit this block. And then I want to go ahead and add an element here. And I'll just do a bulleted list just for the sake of example. And we'll go ahead and delete that out of here. And we'll do privacy policy. And then I'd go ahead and link to my privacy policy page. So, and I could go ahead and open it in a new tab or a new window if I want to. So we'll do that. And then I'll go ahead and save the universal block. And I can see that my footer has been updated. So let me come back out here. And actually, let me just go to overview and we'll just go to my site real quick. And then we should scroll down to the bottom and we should see the universal footer has been updated. And I can see the privacy policy is now in my footer and I should be able to click. It opens a new tab and there we go. There's my privacy policy. So that's how you can go ahead and create like a template and then use that template to create your various standalone pages. So your privacy policy, your terms and conditions and so on. And hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes and or head over to crazyeyemarketing.com. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.